what's going on guys so I started to take down my twists I had I had 10 twists and I started to separate them and I can already tell that they're not gonna turn out the way that I want they're not gonna hang exactly the way I want so I'm basically going to do some style recovery and I'm gonna put my hair up in a puff and a bang and I just want to show you guys real quick how I do that Okay, so I definitely could wear my hair out like this, um, but I know that it's not going to last. The shape even won't last. It's going to end up becoming a mushroom because um, the humidity in the air is going to make my hair draw up in the back and it just poof out here, which isn't, isn't bad. It's just not really the look I really want. I kind of had that look yesterday. My hair was all over the place and I, I liked it. It wasn't horrible. The look that I want with my outfit. <laughs> so I'm going to put my hair up and a puff and a bang. Uh, now my hair is very long in the front so I'm going to show you a trick how to get some faux bangs. I'm just going to clip this section off and I separate it out with my puff. I actually want to tie my hair down first, my edges down first before I do my bang so they can set. I'm going to let that set for like five minutes and then finish. <clears throat> so my hair set. Uh, it was like five minutes and that's good enough. Oh, I could wear my, like with my hair on the side. Like I usually just push it over here or I like make a little thingy and I put it like that but I kind of want it to hang like directly right here <laughs> so we're gonna finagle it and we're gonna get it we're gonna get it right and we're gonna make it look like this up here so first I'm gonna I'm gonna twist yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna twist a nice little loose twist and I'm gonna bobby pin it back here. Actually, yeah, while we pin it down. A trick to securing bobby pins is overlapping them. So I think you guys can see that. I put one bobby pin in this way, and then I'm gonna put another bobby pin in directly across it so they'll crisscross like this, and it like just holds them down perfectly. Perfect. So I'm just going to zhuzh my hair in the back here. So I actually have a bang. This right here is unnecessary. Like why? <laughs> Separating and fluffing and making it look how I want to look. So I have a bow here and it's not exactly the same color green. But we're going to make it work today. And I'm just going to put this directly right here. <laughs> anyway. I'm just going to put that bow right there. I usually either put my bow right here or like put it right in the, directly in the back of my little bun back there. So that's it guys. That's exactly how I save my hairstyle whenever it doesn't turn out exactly how I want it. I just do this puff and bang style. I think it's super cute and you can make it versatile. You can make a puff, you can make a bun, you can make a bang, you can make a swoop. Like it's so versatile, so easy to achieve. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.